Welcome back. So I don't want to get into this whole big mask debate again, because frankly, it's not really a debate. Everyone should be wearing a mask. I think we should get that uh, pretty much understood at this point. But some people want to know if they should take it a step farther, like Anne, who wrote in and said, I heard that some people are putting a paper coffee filter inside their single mask instead. Is this a good alternative? So we thought this would be a good question for Keely Chalmers to look into. What I did was I took a coffee filter. Search YouTube, you'll find them. All sorts of creative and pretty impressive videos on how to make a face mask out of a coffee filter. And once you just create it at the top and the bottom. Makes sense. I mean, it is a filter, but just how effective is it in filtering out those tiny coronavirus particles? It was a question researchers at Virginia Tech University wanted to answer. They conducted a study looking at the effectiveness of one, two, and three layers of coffee filters. Dr. Richard Corsi, an air quality expert at Portland State University, followed the research. And they showed that um, coffee filters can be, can have some benefit. Now keep in mind, this was a single study done back in April of last year. It concluded that the effectiveness depended on how many layers were used. One or two coffee filters didn't show much benefit. However, if you put three coffee filters layered on top of each other, you can get on the order of 50 to 60 or even 70 percent removal efficiency for particles of the size that we care about for the coronavirus. But Corsi points out while three layers does better at filtering out the virus, they also make it tougher to breathe and air will always find the path of least resistance. It's harder for air to get through the filters and air will find those creases around your nose and openings and leakage points around the mask and you'll get more air just coming right in through those leakage points and not going through the mask. He says one trick to sealing up any openings in your mask, good old fashioned tape. Tape up the creases and um, it stays sealed for a pretty long period of time if you do it right. Right now, there's a lot of research being done on best mask practices. The findings show that increasing the layers to two to three is a lot better than just one. Uh, the more layers you have, in theory, the more particles that virus laden particles you'll be able to collect. As for the best materials, that research is ongoing, but studies have shown promising results from other household items like certain pillowcases. The bottom line, if you do want to make your own mask, simply doubling up won't cut it. So you have to make sure that you have a good fit and that the mask is breathable at the same time as you want these multiple layers. It's a bit of a, an art in the science. In Portland, Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.